Hello everyone and welcome back. So today is usually when I have my weekly Power Rangers review come out. However, this week there is no new episode of Power Rangers because of things surrounding the Kids Choice Awards. But since last Saturday was the premiere of the new Sentai, Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger in Japan, I thought that it'd be cool to review the first episode of Zenkaiger as a replacement. By the way, if you like this review and want me to review more Zenkai in the future, let me know in the comments. Before I talk about this episode though, I should probably explain my relationship with Super Sentai, because come to think of it, I've never really talked about it before. The short version is that I like Sentai and I've seen some of it, but I'm not really a super fan. I've seen most of Jurenja, the source footage for MMPR Season 1, and I've seen a few odd episodes of some other seasons, like Go Renja, uh, Jaka, Bioman, Dire Ranger, Kaku Ranger, Magi Ranger, and Geki Ranger. I've also seen a few Sentai movies, and I also intended to follow Q Ranger as it was coming out, but because I hated Kiss Asian, I only got through episode 1. So, I don't have a ton of experience with Sentai, but I enjoy it otherwise, and I wouldn't have watched as much as I have. So with that out of the way, let's get into my thoughts on the episode. So after a brief introduction, we meet our main character, Kaito. Now as I said before, I did watch the first episode of Q-Ranger, and let me tell you, Kaito reminded me a lot of Lucky the Red Q-Ranger. I don't know if it's a trope to have a super energetic to the point of being annoying at times main character with a catchphrase, but if it is, Kaito definitely falls into that category. Whether or not he's annoying fluctuates from scene to scene. Sometimes he is kind of annoying, but other times he's actually kind of wholesome. So our opening scene is seeing this world fused with part of another dimension called Kikaitopia, a world inhabited by sentient robots called Kikainoids. Kaito is excited about that because his dead parents were scientists and actually discovered Kikaitopia years ago, but of course no one believed them until now. It kind of reminds me of Power Rangers Wild Force in that respect. So, we fast forward about one month give or take, and at this point, humans and Kikainoids live in harmony. But then, as it goes with these kinds of shows, evil arrives that must be stopped. In this case, it's the Tajitendo Dynasty a group of evil Kikai droids that rule over Kikaitopia and have been slowly trapping different universes in gears called Toji Gears. This world is the only one left. Along with this revelation came something that so far has been pretty controversial, that every season of Super Sentai exists in its own separate universe as opposed to one. I have mixed feelings about this. While it's definitely a lot nicer and neater to imagine every episode and movie together, it does fix continuity issues. Besides, that universe where they all take place together still exists, it's just that most seasons take place in their own universe, so there's not exactly a main universe for Sentai. While I don't necessarily think this idea should be adopted for Power Rangers, it certainly would explain some of the seasons that don't have any connective tissue with other seasons, and actively say that other teams don't exist. The explanation could be that seasons like Ninja Storm, Mystic Force, and Samurai take place in another universe, but the characters and most of their events still happened in the main universe. There are some strange intricacies with this new Sentai multiverse, but I'll probably make another video talking about all of that some other time. But anyway, the fact that Kikaitopia has partially fused with the world of Zenkaiger means that they can't trap it in a Toji gear, so they have to invade the old fashioned way. Which is honestly a really clever way of explaining why such a powerful army that has wiped out worlds in the past will take so long to conquer this one. So, anyway, it's in their initial invasion that we meet Juran. In a similar way to Juoger, only the leader is actually human and the rest of the team is from another world. In this case, besides Kaito, all of the Zen Kaijers will be Kikai droids. And it seems the first few episodes will introduce them one at a time, with this episode introducing Juran, the red Zen Kaiger. He is this fun, loving character that wants to make friends, which means he pairs really well uh, with Kaito. Though there will likely be a more no-nonsense Zenkaiger that's introduced soon, so I'm looking forward to seeing how Kaito and Juran interact with them. As soon as the Tachi Tendos start attacking, uh, two interesting ideas come up that I can only assume will become overarching themes, and I'm here for them, even though they do come out of nowhere a little bit. The first is racism. Essentially, even though Juran is a nice guy, at first when he tries to help people not 
get hurt by the Taji Tendos, a lot of people run because they think he's one of them. And I think that the fact that all but one of the Rangers will be Kai droids, that will be something interesting to explore later on. There's also a theme of classism. The Kikai droids on Earth see it as an escape from the rule of the Taji Tendo dynasty in Kikaitopia. So when they attack, it's a real bummer, understandably. And when the Taji Tendos are first invading, one of the generals outright tells Kaito that what matters is the ruling class and everyone else should be reduced to scrap. It's not much to go off for now, uh, but I'm looking forward to how it's handled later. So, through a bird that Kaito's parents brought back from Kikaitopia years ago, Kaito and his aunt discover a secret lab built by Kaito's parents that holds basically all the tech for the season. This includes the Gertlingers, the changers for this season. Similarly to Cure Yuger slash Dino Charge, their guns, which is always cool. The gimmick this season are the Sentai Gears, and Kaito takes two of the Gertlingers and Sentai Gears into town where he sees Judon helping people. So he gives him one of them and they hench in for the first time. The suits for this season look great and are really unique. Kaito changes into Zen Kaiser, whose powers are based on Goranger. It's sleek and has a partial cape and almost looks like a common rider suit. Judon changes into Zenkai Judon, which is basically based on Dai Jujin uh, from Judanger, which I assume is a Power Rangers reference of some kind, though it could just be a coincidence that the first two members of Zenkaiger are based off the first Sentai and the first Sentai adapted into Power Rangers. Besides Zenkaiser, the other Sentai suits are based on robots, which is interesting. Outside of being power sources to morph, the Sentai gears can also be used to unlock special powers based on past Ranger teams. In this episode, we see them use gears based on Juoger and Ninninger to unlock Eagle Flight and Ninja Attacks respectively. It's basically the gimmick from Gokaiger, but less expensive. So anyway, this is one of those seasons where instead of the monsters, or rather robots, growing, they are built giant and unleashed when needed. So while Zenkaiser stays on the ground and fights one soldier, Zenkai Juran grows to giant size and transforms into a mecha called Juran Tyrano, which is a robot dinosaur, as you'd expect. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the design, but either way, after that, everything's pretty run-of-the-mill. They defeat the Kikai droids, they celebrate what they did, and holy crap, why does everybody have mushrooms on their heads? Okay, well, as ridiculous as that is, I do really want to watch episode 2 now, so I guess it did its job. So yeah, overall good episode and great start to the season. It introduced some good characters, but leaves some for future episodes. It uses some anniversary elements, but is mostly an original story, which I think is a good way to start. It feels like a complete story, but there are still questions to be answered, like what happened to Kaido's parents? Why did they make these powers? And a few others. I really enjoyed it, and I'll keep up with it for at least a little while longer, whether or not I continue reviewing it. What did you think? Let me know in the comments. Again, if you like this, let me know, and I'll consider reviewing more Zenkaiger. Don't forget to subscribe for daily videos on the franchises you love, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.